I haven't been on the property too long really. Not even a full year yet. So right now I'm just trying to make a temporary pig shelter. We don't have any bonds or anything yet in the property. I would love to, but I'm not 100% sure of where we want everything. So I'm not willing to build a big barn and all that stuff yet. So right now we're just doing a lot of temporary stuff. This pig pen is temporary. The pigs won't stay here forever. I don't know if it's wishful thinking or not, but it's still fairly early in the spring season. It's end of March. I'm hoping I can get these stakes drove into the ground, but we still might have too much frost. It was in the 20s this morning. One down, let's see how the rest goes. That one went pretty good. So we haven't been on the property too long really. Not even a full year yet. So right now I'm just trying to make a temporary pig shelter. We don't have any bonds or anything yet in the property. I would love to, but I'm not 100% sure of where we want everything. So I'm not willing to build a big barn and all that stuff yet. So right now we're just doing a lot of temporary stuff. This pig pen is temporary. The pigs won't stay here forever. But this area where I'm putting them was overgrown. And this whole area where the pen's gonna be last year wasn't usable. So we're gonna stick them here. There's a lot of small stumps and everything. So hopefully the pigs will root that up and we'll keep the pigs for around six months and they'll be in this area once we've had them for a while, we'll uh, make the pen bigger with electric fence. But for now, I want to use this hog panel and make it a nice secure pen for them. So these hog panels are pretty nice. They're 16 feet long, um, I think 50 inches tall. They're pretty rugged. They're 20 something bucks, depending on where you go to get them per panel. You get these metal posts. And if you look and ask, they have these metal clips to secure everything right to the fence for you. Makes it a lot easier and more convenient. So one of the other reasons I'm going with this style fence and not putting in nice fence posts and stuff is we have really rocky soil here. Our pigs actually be coming the weekend of April 9th, I believe. So about three more weeks we'll be getting our pigs. So I'm glad that I've been able to get the posts in the ground so far. I'm gonna have to dig a few and put some four by four posts in and put a nice gate. I'll show you the gate I made out of the hog panel area that I cut out for the gate. And trying to get all the rocks out per hole wouldn't be very fun. As you can see, that rock, I just got out of the fence post hole for the gate. That's the second big one. So a couple of tools you're gonna need. I'm putting in fence posts, there's a nice bar. And a pick. I was only able to go two and a half feet in the ground. So one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple of braces on the four by four to help lock it in place.
Now I'm just stamping the dirt, packing it down around the 4x4. Four four. Make it so it stands in place by itself. And I just want to go ahead and plumb the 4x4, four four, making sure it's level all the way around. All right, now that I have my two posts in the ground to figure out where I'm gonna put the hinges on the gate and the post, I set the gate on a piece of rough cut one by so I'd have my height off the ground on the highest, so I'd have my height off the ground on the highest part of where the gate will be opening into. I'm just using this Stanley gate hinge set that I got. I was able to pick these up last summer at Lowe's on clearance for a couple of bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mark on the post. So I just went ahead and I marked on the post the height of my gate hinges. I'm going to just do them dead center. Just gonna go ahead and pre-drill them with a 516th drill bit. You just wanna make sure that your drill is level. I found the best way to get leverage on these is to use a wrench, put the box side on it and just keep tightening it right up. Gonna level off the gate. Have the gate level, and just use hold using a clamp to hold it in place. Just gonna pre-drill. And that way I don't have to worry about cracking my pine. 